There is just something about the marriage of sharp, sharp cheese and fresh mint that really works. And here, the, the baseline for my courgette fritters. And I know the word fritters really conjures up a sort of complex world of deep frying and dense eating, but these are really light vegetable patties that are crispy and juicy at the same time. I mean, perfect. There are just four courgettes providing this amount of grated matter. I want to get as much liquid out of these courgettes as possible, which is why I'm strewing them over this jauntily nautical tea towel. Swaddle these little babies. And bung them out of the way while I get some other ingredients out of the fridge. Eggs, spring onions, feta, my salty sharp cheese of choice here. Okay, so finely chop the spring onions, bunch of them, four or five, that sort of thing. Put them in here. And these are wonderfully herby little patties and my herbs of choice today mint and parsley. Oh. Again, finely chopped. Mmm. Lovely summer garden here. Now the funny thing is people are so kind of foolishly and smugly snobbish about dried herbs. But dried herbs can be wonderful and interestingly they provide something very different from their fresh counterpart. For example, fresh mint I think brings coolness whereas dried mint brings warmth. And I want that here. So a sprinkle of dried mint to compound the heavenliness of the fresh mint. I want some paprika, not just because I love its sweet heat but also because I want the reddish gold tinge it brings to these lovely green and white crispy cakes. Ah, oh, look at that. About 140 grams, 150, anyway, a cupful of plain flour. Three eggs, a wonderful hit of sunshine here. So into this golden batter, dense, salty, crumbly feta. And finally, these beautiful dark-tipped jade strands of courgette. Now everything's juicily combined with these lovely strands hanging out. I just need to put the pan on the heat, some olive oil in it, and dollop them in and fry them.